Okay, good evening everyone. So good Abend allerseits. Let's open with a word of prayer. Lasst uns mit ein Gebet anfangen. Dear Heavenly Father, lieber himmlischer Vater, Lord, we thank you once again that we can gather here. Herr, wir danken dir ein weiteres Mal, dass wir uns hier versammeln dürfen. We thank you for all the blessings that you've given us today. Und wir danken dir für all die Segnungen, die du uns heute gegeben hast. As we close this day now, I pray that you bless us. So, wenn wir diesen Tag zusammen gemeinsam schließen, wir bitten, dass du uns segnest. You would help our hearts to be open to understand your truth. Dass du uns hilfst, dass unsere Herzen auf sein, um deine Wahrheit zu verstehen. And that we would see the wondrous things out of thy law. Und dass wir die wunderbare Sachen aus deinem Gesetz erkennen würden. And we ask this in the name of Jesus. Und wir bitten diesen Namen Jesu. Amen. 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 Okay, the notes are posted. So die Notizen, die sind gepostet worden. Okay, so hopefully I won't keep you too long tonight. So hoffentlich halte uns hier nicht allzu lang. But I can't promise that. Aber das kann ich natürlich nicht versprechen. Okay, um, so it's titled The Sycamore Tree. The title is der, wie heißt das auf Deutsch? Ahorn. Der Ahornbaum. Danke. Right. And we've been looking at a lot of things in relation to trees lately. Und right. neulich haben wir viele Sachen in Bezug auf Bäume angeschaut. Okay, so, um, okay, so, thank you. Okay, let's, let's begin, go to Genesis chapter 11. So, in die Notizen fangen wir an, in 1. Buch Mose, Kapitel 11. Now I'm just going to go through a few principles and then I'll get to my point. So wir werden zuerst ein paar Prinzipien äh, auslegen und dann werde ich zu meinem Hauptpunkt kommen. So <coughs> Genesis chapter 11 verse 1. So erste Buch Mose 11 fangen wir an in Vers 1. And we know that this is a symbol of the Sunday law being set up at the end of it. Und wir verstehen, dass das ein Symbol ist für den Sonntagsgesetz, die am Ende der Welt aufgestellt wird. Ah, danke. Also dieser Baumname, also der Titel des Predigt, ist der Maulbeerfeige. Okay. Ja, yeah, maybe it's both, maybe it's got another name, but it's not Okay, Vers 1. Vers 1. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go, let us make brick. What are they doing? So, was tun sie in Vers 3? They're making bricks. Sie machen Backsteine. What are they making bricks for? Wozu machen sie Backsteine? And burn them thoroughly, that they had brick for stone. What's it for? Also, die hatten Backsteine für Gestein. Wofür ist es? So, instead of stone, what do they have? So, anstelle von Gestein oder Steine, was haben sie? Brick. So, Backsteine. Okay, now that's important. Und das ist wichtig. Okay. And slime they had for mortar, right? So straight away here you can see that it's a counterfeit, right? So, so fort kannst du hier erkennen, dass es eben eine Fälschung ist. Because this what they're building there, this tower is a counterfeit of the truth, right? Denn dies was die da bauen, dieses Turm ist eine Fälschung des Wahren. How was the altar to be made? So wie sollte das Altar gebaut werden? Uncut stone, uncut stone. stone. Oh, okay. also unbehauene Steine. Okay. So these are these men have made these, right? So diese Menschen haben diese Backsteine gemacht. And they said, go to, let us build a city and a tower, right? So church and state. So Vers 13, ein Stadt und ein Turm, das ist um, ein Staat und eine Kirche. Whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad in the face of the whole earth, right? That's just the point I want to make. So when so there's fear. It's represented by them, instead of building it the way that the Bible has instructed men to build it, they are doing it according to their own way. They do it through bricks. Das right? ist der Punkt. Anstelle, dass sie dies aufbauen, so wie der Bibel, so wie Gott sie gesagt haben, dass sie es tun sollen, sie tun es auf ihre eigenen Art. Sie machen Backsteine. Okay, now let's look at this only quote there. I've posted it in the live stream. So, diese Zitat, der einzige Zitat in den live stream. It says, when the tower had been partially completed, 
A portion of it was occupied as a dwelling place for the builders and other apartments splendidly furnished and adorned were devoted to their idols. So what did they put in it? So was haben sie in diesen Turm gelegt? Their idols. Deren Götzen. It was a place of worship. Es war right? eine Anbetungsort. Okay. The only true place of worship is God's house. Und right? das einzige wahre Ort der Anbetung ist das Haus Gottes. So it's a counterfeit temple. So right? here is das ein, ein Fälschung des Tempels. The people rejoiced in their success and praised the gods of silver and gold and set themselves against the ruler of heaven and earth. Suddenly the work that had been advancing so prosperously was checked. Angels were sent to bring to note the purpose of the builders. The tower had reached a lofty height and it was impossible for the workmen at the top to communicate directly with those at the base. Therefore men were stationed at different points, each to receive and report to the one next below him the orders for needed material or other directions concerning the work. As messages were thus passing from one another, the language was confounded, so that the material was called for which was not needed, and the directions delivered were often the reverse of those that had been given. Confusion and dismay followed. All work came to a standstill. It says that um, I'm trying to remember how it, how it works it in Corinthians. It says the, the Lord is not the author of confusion, right? Also hier es sagt, dass Verwirrung kam zustande und in 1. Korinther es sagt, der Herr ist nicht der Herr von Verwirrung. Um, there could be no further harmony or cooperation. The builders were wholly unable to account for the strange misunderstandings among them and in their rage and disappointment they reproached one another. Their confederacy ended in strife and bloodshed. So what's the confederacy? Also, was is diese Zusammenkunft oder diese Einigung? Go to Psalms 83. Go to Psalm mm. 83. Verse 1. Psalm 83 and verse 1. It says, keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, be not still, O God. So what is verse 1? What's he praying for? So verse 1, for what betet er? It's time for me to walk on yes. it. Just, okay, that may be too bit. What's he praying for? Just read what it says. For the voice of God. Okay, for the voice. He wants him to speak. So right? Er möchte, dass Gott spricht, dass die Stimme des Herrn kommt. Okay, so it's the, it's the executive judgment, right? Das ist das Ausführung des Gerichts. For lo, thine enemies make it tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. This is the way it tells us clearly that they lift up the papacy, right? So, Vers 2, Ellen White sagt uns ganz klar, dass sie den Papst erheben. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. It's verse 5. It's the ten kings, right? Die sind gemeinsam gegen Gott. Das ist die zehn Könige. That the woman sits on. Auf dem die Frau sitzt. It's this tree in the garden. It's right? this baum in garden. Right? Amen. Okay. So... This uh, it says their confederacy ended in strife and bloodshed. Sagt ihr in den Zitat, dass deren Zusammenkommen, also diesen Einigkeit von denen, ist im Blutvergießung beendet worden. Is that what happens with the woman and the ten kings? Ist das was mit die Frau und die zehn Könige passiert? Egyptian against Egyptian. Yes, they, they, they tear each other apart. Right? Yes, sie reißen einander, sie reißen einander auseinander. It says lightnings from heaven as an evidence of God's displeasure broke off the upper portion of the tower and cast it to the ground. What did Christ say? Was hat Christus gesagt? I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. And it marks the point where the 70 names their names are written in heaven, it says, right? Das markiert der Punkt, wo die 70 ihre Namen im Himmel geschrieben sind. Right? Amen. Okay, so this is the executive judgment. One group's blessed, one group's cursed. Right? So this is the Ausführung des Gerichts. Der eine Gruppe wird gesegnet, der andere verflucht. Okay. 
Now we get to a point. Go to Isaiah chapter 9. Yet to the point, we get to Isaiah chapter 9. It says the, the bricks are fallen down. What's fallen down? Was ist gefallen? The bricks. The bricks. The right? <coughs> Where did we just read that they built up something with bricks? Wo haben wir gerade gelesen, dass sie was mit Backsteinen bauten? In Babel, right? So, das Turm von Babel. It says, the bricks have fallen down, but we will build with hewn stones. The sycamores are cut down, but we will change them into cedars. Very important. What, what is the Bible paralleling here? So, was uh, stellt die Bibel hier parallel miteinander? The bricks with a sycamore tree. Also, right? die Backsteine mit einem Maulbeerbaum. Nein, Maul. Maulbeerbaum? Mit einem Maulbeerbaum. Gleich. So, the bricks fell down, but the sycamore got what? Also, die Backsteine sind gefallen, aber der Maulbeerbaum ist was? Got cut down. Ist äh, befallen worden. So the Bible interprets itself, right? Also die Bibel legt sich selbst mm -hmm. aus, richtig? The, the bricks are represented this tower of Babel. So die Backsteine stellen diesen Turm von Babel dar. So what's the sycamore being paralleled with? So mit was ist dieser Maulbeerbaum parallel gestellt? The Tower of Babel. Right, Babylon, right? So der Turm von Babel, also Babylon. Okay, have we taken the tree in Daniel? and paralleled it with this tower before? So, haben wir den äh, Baum in Daniel 4 yes. mit diesem Turm von Babel in der Vergangenheit verglichen? Yes. Ja, yes. sicher. Okay. So, the sycamore gets cut down, right? So, dieser Maulbeerbaum wird ähm, abgehauen. So, go to Ezekiel 31. Gehen wir zu Ezekiel 31, Vers 10. This is all stuff we're very familiar with, Vers 16. Right? Und das sind alle Sachen, mit denen wir vertraut sind. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast lifted up thyself in height. What, what, if, what is it because he's done? So, was hat er getan? In what? In height. Okay. Er hat sich in Höhe erhoben. Where did the tower go to? Und bis wohin ging die Turm hin? To heaven. Um den right. Himmel zu erreichen. And hath shot up his top among the thick boughs, and his heart is lifted up in his height. I have therefore delivered him into the hand of the mighty one of the heathen. He shall surely deal with him. I have driven him out for his wickedness. And strangers, the terrible of the nations, have cut him off and have left him upon the mountains. And in all the valleys his branches are falling and his boughs are broken by all the rivers of the land. And all the people of the earth are gone down from his shadow and have left him. Upon his ruin shall all the fowls of heaven remain and all the beasts of the field shall be upon his branches. To the end that none of all the trees by the waters exalt themselves for their height, neither shoot up their top among the thick boughs, neither their trees stand up in their height, all that drink water, for they are all delivered unto death, to the nether parts of the earth, in the midst of the children of men, with them that go down to the pit. Thus saith the Lord God, in the day that he went down to the grave, I caused him mourning. I covered the deep for him, I restrained the floods thereof, and the great waters were stayed. I caused Lebanon to mourn for him, and all the trees of the field fainted for him. I made the nations to shake at the sound of his what? So Vers 16. Zum Geräusch von was? Fall. So, fall. so what happened to this tree? So was ist mit diesem Baum geschehen? It, it was cut down, it fell, right? It's abgehauen, it's is gefallen. And, um, okay, if you go to, uh, go to Daniel chapter 4, gehen wir zum Daniel 4, same illustration, 20 bis 23, das ist derselbe Darstellung, <coughs> Verse 20. Verse 20. The tree that thou sawest, which grew and was strong, whose height reached unto the what? Es reichte bis was? The heaven. Den Himmel. Right? Same as the tower. Dasselbe right? wie den Turm. And the sight thereof to all the earth, whose leaves were fair and the fruit thereof much, and in it was meat for all, under which the beasts of the field dwelt, and upon whose branches the fowls of the heaven had their habitation. It is thou, O king, that are grown and become strong, for thy greatness is grown and reacheth unto heaven, and thy dominion to the end of the earth. And whereas the king saw a watcher and a holy one, 
coming down from heaven. Go back to Genesis 11. So, gehen wir zum ersten Buch Mose 11 in unserer Bibel. So it says here, they saw a holy one, a watcher, come down from heaven. Right? Sagt hier in Daniel, sie haben einen Heiligen, einen Wächter, der vom Himmel herabkam. Go to Genesis 11, verse uh, 7. So, erste Buch Mose 11 und Vers 7. Go to, let us go down and there confirm their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So what did they do? Was taten sie? The Lord came down from heaven. Der right? Herr kam herab vom Himmel. Okay. Back to Daniel 4, so zurück zu Daniel 4, Vers 23. And whereas the king saw a watcher and a holy one coming down from heaven and saying, Hew the tree down and destroy it, yet leave the stump of the roots thereof in the earth, even with a band of iron and brass in the tender grass of the field, and let it be wet with the dew of heaven. And let his portion be with the beasts of the field till seven times pass over him. What happened? Maskisha. The tree got hewed down. So der Baum wurde gefallen. Right? Mm -hmm. Now Sister White says that um, God deals with nations and men the same. Right? right? Ellen White sagt, dass God geht mit Menschen und Nationen dasselbe um. Okay. And it's both externally and internally. Right? Das ist sowohl extern als auch intern. Okay, go to Luke chapter 13. So gehen wir jetzt zu Lukas 13, Vers 4 bis 9. So, based upon what we've looked at so far, if the sycamore is parallel to those bricks, and the sycamore got cut down, what is the sycamore? So, basierend auf was wir so, uh, bis jetzt studiert haben, wenn dieser Maulbeerbaum verglichen ist mit diesen Backsteinen und der Maulbeerbaum äh, befallen würde, was ist der Maulbeerbaum? No. Yes, it is the tower, but also, ja, der Turm, aber it's Babylon and Pharaoh, es right? ist Babylon it's und Pharao. It's these two trees, right? Es ist diese zwei Bäume. They're both the same, right? It's beide the, dasselbe. Okay. So the sycamore tree is the tree in the midst of the garden. That's so, the point. Der Maulbeerbaum ist diesen Baum inmitten des Gartens. Das ist eben der Punkt. Right? Amen? Mm -hmm. Everybody follow. Kann jeder folgen? Okay. Luke 13, verse 4. So, Lukas 13, beginnen Vers 4. Or those 18 upon whom the tower in Siloam fell. What's Jesus talking about? So, worüber spricht Jesus hier am Anfang von Vers 4? Can't be hard. I've just read a few words. What's he's he's, taught, he's warning them? Yes, he's, he he points them to an event where a tower fell on people, and he's pointing it forward to what? So er weist auf einen Turm, da ein Ereignis war ein Turm auf 18 Menschen fiel, und er nutzt es um was hinzuweisen? The destruction of Jerusalem. Die Zerstörung von Jerusalem. The destruction of Jerusalem. Is a parallel to the destruction of Babylon. Right? Die Zerstörung von Jerusalem ist eine Parallel zu der Zerstörung von Babylon. Right. Amen. Sister White talks about the buildings, right, coming down, and she likens it to the destruction of Jerusalem. So Ellen White spricht über diese Gebäude, die fallen, und sie vergleicht es mit der Zerstörung von Jerusalem. Right. Amen. 21 MR. 21 MR. 66 onwards, right? 61, 66 und weiter. Right. Remember. Könntet ihr daran erinnern? Okay. So, it's all point to the same thing. So here we have, we just gave two illustrations of Babylon being brought down. Now we're going to give an illustration of Jerusalem being brought down and they're the same thing. So right? Wir haben soeben zwei Darstellungen von Babylon, der zur Fall gebracht wird. Und jetzt werde ich eine Darstellung von Jerusalem, wie es zum Fall gebracht wird. Wir werden sehen, dass die beide dasselbe sind. So, We read Genesis 11, which is about a tower. So wir haben über erste Buch Mose 11 gelesen, spricht über einen Turm. Right, and we read in Isaiah that this tower is a parallel to this sycamore tree. Wir right? haben in Jesaja gelesen, dass dieser Turm parallel ist zu diesem Maulbeerbaum. And right here in Luke 13, Und the New hier, Testament is going to do exactly the same. In Lukas 13, in dem Neu Neuen Testament, wird es genau dasselbe tun. So, Vers 4. Vers 4. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, 
ye shall all likewise perish. So if you don't repent, you will be destroyed in the destruction of Jerusalem. Right? Verse 5. Wenn du kein Buße tust, du wirst in die Zerstörung Jerusalems umkommen. Then he says, Dann sagt er, he spake also this parable, a certain man had a what? Was hat diesen Mann? A fig tree. So what's he doing right here? So was tut er hier? Now giving you another illustration of what he's just spoke about, right? Er gibt dir ein weiteres Darstellung von das, was er soeben sprach. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard and came and sought fruit thereon and found none. So what did he find? So was hat er gefunden? Pretentious leaves. So, nur um, pretentious? Vorgebliche Blätter. Also, the, ga Blätter. the garment of fig leaves, right? Also, diese Gewand von Feigenblätter. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking food on this tree and find none. Cut it down, why cumbereth it the ground? So what's he paralleling the tree being cut down to? So mit was stellt er diesen Baum, der befallen worden ist, mit? With the tower in verse 4, right? The tower in verse 4. That's exactly what Isaiah did. Das ist right? genau das, was Jesaja tat. Right? Amen. That's what Daniel 4 and Genesis 11 are showing. They're the same illustrations, das right? Daniel 4 und 1. Buch Mose 11. Tat. Es ist eben ein und dasselbe Darstellung. Okay. And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well. And if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. Okay. So, everybody see the correlation. The sycamore tree is an illustration of the tree in the midst of the garden. Right? So kann jeder der Zusammenhang sehen. Dieser Maulbeerbaum ist eine Darstellung von dem Baum, der inmitten des Gartens ist. Okay, now let's look at a different thought. So, jetzt eine weitere oder eine andere Gedanke dazu. Go to Matthew 17. Matthäus 17, beginnen im Vers 14 bis 21. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed, for oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. <clears throat> Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. What did he do? Was tat er? Okay, come on. Let's switch on. Let's think about it. What's he doing? So what's tut er? We're not okay. The Lord rebuke thee. Take away the filthy garments, right? The Herr schelte dich. Nimmt ihm den schmutzigen Gewänder ab, right? Amen. Okay. So Jesus rebuked the devil. The Lord rebuked thee. The Herr schelte dich. And he departed out of him. Und er wich von ihm. That's the evil propensity is now being blotted, right? Das ist diese böse Neigungen, die stillgelegt werden. And the child was cured from that very hour. What hour is it? So, welche Stunde ist das hier in Vers 18? Or what's it symbolizing? Oder was stellt es dar? Come on, bro. I, I went through this in a class. Why are we, we not answering? We should be throwing these answers out. It's the hour of temptation, right? Das ist die Stunde der Versuchung. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast them out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as, the, as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible to you. How be it this kind goeth out not but by prayer and fasting. So what is these ones that couldn't cast the demon out, who do they represent? Diejenigen, die die Teufel nicht austreiben konnten, wem stellen sie da? Those who do not have faith. Yes, those that do not exercise faith in the hour of temptation. Right? Diejenigen, die keinen Glaube anwenden in der Stunde der Versuchung. Right? They, they, they are the representing the foolish right there. Die stellen yes. den Törichten gerade. 
Whereas Christ was represented the wise. Right? Wobei Christus in dieser Darstellung stellte den äh, Klugen dar. Okay, and the, obviously the man that was exercising faith there, he, he was the one who Christ blessed, right? Und derjenige, der ähm, Glaube da übte, war, also der Mann, der hier Glaube übte, war derjenige, der Christus segnete. Okay, so what's the prayer and fast, prayer and fa the prayer and fasting represent? So was stellt diese Gebet und Fasten da? Yes, this this experience that you have to have with non-stop, right? So diese Klagen und Rufen für Befreiung ähm, ohne Unterlass. But if you exercise that mustard seed of faith, what does it say you will do? Aber wann du diese Senfkorn von Glaube ausübst, was sagt es, was du tun wirst? Come on, read the quote. What does it say you'll do? Was sagt es? Lest den You will be able to say to this mountain to move over here, right? Du wirst zu diesem Berg sagen können, beweg dich da drüben. Right? Amen. Because it represents somebody that now has Christ in them, right? Es stellt jemand da, der jetzt Christus in sich hat. Amen? Amen. Okay. Ja. Go to Mark chapter 11, please. So, geht jetzt zu Markus Kapitel 11, Vers 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. So, the person is able to move the mountain, where, where is it that they're able to? To put the mountain. So, derjenige, der imstande ist, der Berg zu bewegen, wo bewegt er der Berg hin? Into the sea. In right? das Meer. Every. If you want to understand one parable, you have to bring them all together. Right? Wenn du ein Gleichnis verstehen möchtest, musst du sie alle zusammenbringen. Margaret, look up. Right? Jeremiah 51, 24. So, Jeremia ähm, 51, Vers 24. Okay. It says... And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord. Behold, I am against the O-destroying mountain. Who's Babylon here? Verse 25, where is Babylon? She's a mountain, right? She's a berg. Saith the Lord, which destroyest all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. So he's going to destroy Babylon, which is this mountain, right? Er Babylon zerstören, was dieser Berg ist. So go to Revelation 18, verse 21. Zum Offenbarung 18, Vers 21. Which is the punishment on Babylon, right? Die Bestrafung über Babylon. It says, and the Lord said, Uh, sorry, uh, Revelation 18, 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. Right? So the destruction of Babylon, what does the angel do with Babylon? So the destruction of Babylon, what does the angel do with Babylon? Throws it in the sea. So, wirft es in das Meer. So, who's the mighty angel? So, wer ist dieser mächtige Engel? Those who have a mustard seed of faith. God's people, right? So, Gottes Volk. Just the way it's very clear that mighty angel that comes down represents his people, so, right? Ellen White sagt sehr klar, dieser mächtige Engel, der herabkommt, stellt sein Volk dar. What do they have on? Was haben sie an sich? Were you watching this morning, Manuela? Okay, so what do they have on? So, was haben sie an für Armor? The whole armor of God, so right? Die ganze Waffenrüstung Gottes. Because only when you have on the whole armor of God can you fight against Satan's kingdom, ja, right? Nur wenn du die ganze Waffenrüstung Gottes trägst, kannst du gegen den Königreich Satans angehen. So, if you have this mustard seed of faith, you will be able, that, that's this faith, this, this, this armor that you have on, You will be able to destroy Babel, right? So, wenn du diese Senfkorn von Glaube hast, das ist diese Waffenrüstung, die du anhast, wirst du imstande sein, Babylon zu zerstören. So, go to Luke 17, verse 6. We'll look at a parallel and we'll see it's the same thing. So, gehen wir zu Lukas 17, Vers 6, schauen ein Parallel an, wir werden sehen, dass es dasselbe ist. And the Lord said, if ye had faith as grain of a mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree, 
Be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea. What do we see? So was sehen wir hier? The Babylon, which is the mountain, is the sycamore tree. Right? Babylon, der auch der Berg ist, ist auch der Maulbeerbaum. Amen. Amen. Very clear, right? Sehr klar. So, the sycamore tree, 100%, is a representation of this tree in the midst of the garden, right? So, dieser Maulbeerbaum, 100%, ist eine Darstellung von diesem Baum im Mitten des Gartens. Amen. Right. Everybody see that? Kann jeder das sehen? Okay. So, go, now go to... Luke chapter 19. Gehen wir jetzt zu Lukas 19, die Verse 2 bis 7. And it says, And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. What do we see? Was sehen wir hier? Okay. Chief what? Also Haupt was? Chief of what? So the Haupt von was? Sinner. Right, okay, he's a chief of sinners. So yes, who, who does sinner. that remind you of? So Paul. Paul, yes, Paul yes. said, I am chiefest among yes. those sinners. Right? So, in Adon, so Paulus. Paulus sagte, ich bin der Haupt von alle Sünder. So Zacchaeus, what, what is he doing? So Zacchaeus here, was tut er hier? What's it already telling us about Zacchaeus? Was sagt uns das über Zacchaeus? Sinner. We're all sinners. That's that's not a great revelation. What does it tell us about him? So was sagt es über ihm? He's okay, man. Yes, that he's realizing something about himself, so, right? Uh, stellt fest irgendetwas über sich. He says, I am a chief sinner, right? So er sagt, ich bin ein Hauptsünder. How many Seventh-day Adventists are sitting there and openly acknowledging that they are the chiefest of sinners and have an great need. So, wie viele sieben Tags Adventisten bekennen öffentlich, dass sie ein Haupt von Sünder sind und dass sie einen großen Bedürfnis haben? I don't need to know the exact answer. The Bible tells me that they're rich and increased with goods and in need of nothing. So, right? Ich brauche keine Antwort zu dieser Frage. Der Bibel sagt mir, sie sagen, dass sie reich und ähm, beladen sind mit Gütern und haben keinen Bedarf. That is our That is our character, right? Das ist unser Charakter. And the only person that can break us out of that is Christ. Und der right? Einzige, der uns aus dieser Stricke brechen kann, ist Christus. And the more he shows you through his light, the more you realize how sinful and wicked you are, right? Umso mehr, dass er durch sein Licht zeigt, umso mehr erkennst du, wie sündhaftig und böse du bist. So Zacchaeus is somebody that the Lord is specifically leading, right? So Zacharias here is jemand, der der Herr ganz besonders führt. Right? Amen. Okay, let's stop looking at these things through narrow eyes. Let's try to see what the things mean, right? So, he's the chief among, among publicans and he was rich, which is rich and increased with goods in need of nothing, right? Er reich, und das ist eben dieser laute Zählschutzzustand. Right? Amen. Okay. Next verse just confirms it, right? Vers 3 bestätigt dies. And he sought to see Jesus. So what's he realizing? So was stellt er fest? He needs a savior. He needs a savior. It's his only hope, right? Er braucht eine Lösung, seine einzige Hoffnung. Okay. Uh, and he sought to see Jesus who he was and he could not for the press because he was of little stature. What does it tell us? Was sagt uns das? Humble, he didn't think highly of himself, right? Er dachte nicht viel von sich, er war demütig. Okay. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. What do we have, brothers and sisters? Was haben wir hier, liebe Geschwister? Okay, come on, think about it. Don't, don't jump out the first thing that comes into your mind. Just think about it. So, gedenk, denke darüber nach. It's the sycamore tree. What is it? Es ist der Maulbeerbaum. Was ist es? Oh, we've just gone through this. What's the sycamore tree? What is this? Babylon. It's a tower. It's a Come on, guys. They were dealing with the tree here. We spent all this time showing you 
that the sycamore tree represents the tree in the midst of the garden, right? So if he's climbing up and getting in the branches, what does it represent? So when er jetzt in den Ästen reinklettert, was stellt das da? Okay. Well, this, the, the serpent is a deceiver. I don't believe that he's a deceiver. But what was Jacob called? So, wie war Jakob genannt? Deceiver, right? Ein Verführer. So, in some sense, he is, right? So in gewissen Sinn ist er ein Verführer. But not willfully, right? Uh, nicht willentlich. He's not this tree that's looking to deceive somebody, right? Er ist nicht dieser Baum, der mit Absicht jemanden verführen möchte. Because he recognizes that his condition, right? Weil er seinen Zustand erkennt. But nonetheless, okay, what is the, what's another parallel to the tree in the garden? So was ist eine andere Parallel zum Baum im Garten? Got another illustration of it. Ein weiteres Darstellung davon. The, the serpent on the pole, right? So, der Schlange auf den Stab. And what does John say the serpent on the pole is? Und was sagt Johannes, was diese Schlange auf den Stab ist? The cross. Das Kreuz. I just waited for somebody to get that right. He's now hanging in the tree, right? So Zacharias jetzt hängt im Baum. So he's a child of Satan, right? So ein kind Satans. And he knows the only way he can be saved is to get on the cross. Because he has this, the heart of the serpent and he knows it, right? Right? Amen. And he knows that Jesus went on that cross so that he wouldn't have to pay the penalty. Right? Er weiß, dass Jesus an diesem Kreuz ging, dass er die Strafe nicht zahlen muss. Right? Amen. So he willfully gets up on that cross. Right? So willentlich klettert er auf diesen Kreuz hoch. Because Christ says, pick up your cross and follow me. Right? Christus sagt, hebt euer Kreuz auf und folge mir nach. It says, he ran before and climbed up into the sycamore tree to see him. For he was to pass that way. Right? Vers 4. What's Jesus going to do? Was wird Jesus tun? So he knew the appointed time, right? Zacharias, er wusste die bestimmte Zeit. Right? He knew the appointed time. He has to go to the cross so Christ can pass by before him, right? Er wusste die bestimmte Zeit, dass er zum Kreuz gehen musste, dass Christus an ihm vorbeigehen konnte. An and ihm vorübergehen konnte. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacharias, make haste. What is he saying right there? So, was sagt er hier, wenn er sagt, beeile dich? Yes, yeah, stop time. What, what, what about Joseph when he came out of the dungeon? How did he come out? Hastily. Was ist mit Joseph, als er aus dem Kerker herauskam? What about the, hastig heraus. the three men in the fiery furnace? Was ist mit die drei im Feuerofen? Okay. They brought out hastily, right? So, brachte sie eilig heraus. And come down, for today I must abide at thy house. Where's Christ want to abide? So, wo möchte Christus weilen? What's his house? Was ist sein Haus? In his heart, right? Sein Herz. Eben. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. And when they saw it, they all murmured, <laughs> saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. Right, what are they doing now? Was tun sie jetzt? Murmuring, right? Sie, sie murren. Okay, let's look at a parallel to that. Go to Luke 15. Lass uns ein Parallel dazu anschauen. Wir gehen zu Lukas 15, Vers 24. Beginnen im Vers 24. It says, For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his elder son was in the field. Where was he? Wo war sein ältester Sohn? He was doing public evangelism. Er tat öffentliche Evangelisation. He was busy doing everything in his own strength, er right? Gerade dabei, alles im eigenen Kraft zu tun. And as he came, he drew nigh to the house and heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother has come, and thy father hath killed the fatted calf, because he has received him safe and sound. He's made the perfect offering, right? Er hat diese ähm, perfekte Opfergabe da gebracht. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. And he answering said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress thy at any time thy commandment. 
and yet thou never gavest me a kid that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this thy son was come, which had devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed him for him the fatted calf. So what's he calling him? So was nennt er ihn? A sinner. Ein Sünder. Why are you partying with this sinner? Warum right? machst du, feierst du mit diesem Sünder? He's murmuring about what Christ has just done. Er right? murmurt darüber, über das, was Christus gerade zu ihm getan hat. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So go back to Luke 19. So, we have been to Vers 32 gelesen und lass uns zurück zu Lukas 19 jetzt gehen. Vers 8. Vers 8. And Zacchaeus stood. What did he do? Was tat Zacchaeus? Okay, Ezekiel 37, when the breath enters into you, what did they do? So, Ezekiel 37, wenn das Odem in dir hineinkommt, was taten sie? Stood upon their feet, a mighty great army. Sie right? auf ihre Füße gestanden, eine mächtige große Armee. What about the two anointed ones? Was ist mit die zwei Gesalten? When they're resurrected, wenn sie auferweckt werden. They stood up, right? Sie stehen auf. What about Ezekiel? What did the Lord say to him? Mit Hesekiel, was sagte der Herr zu ihm? Stand up and I will speak unto thee. So right? steh auf und ich werde mit dir sprechen. Could go on, there's lots of different representations, right? Es viele verschiedene Beispiele dafür. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusations, I restore him fourfold. What's he doing? Was tut er hier? He's pouring out his heart in restitution, right? So, er gießt sein Herz aus in Wiedergutmachung. So, because all these things mean nothing to him now. He just wants to make himself right with Christ. All these Reichtümer bedeuten gar nichts mit ihm mehr. Er möchte nur mit Christus ins Rechten sein. And Jesus said unto him, "This day is salvation come to this house, for so much as he also is a son of Abraham." What's he inherited now? So, was hat er geerbt jetzt? All the promises. Given to Abraham. All die Verheißungen, die Abraham gegeben wurde. For the Son of Man has come to seek and save that which was lost. Who was Zacchaeus? So, wer war Zacchaeus? He was a lost sheep. Er war eine verlorene Schaf. Christ represents those that went through the experience and sought him out. So, right? Christus in diesen Darstellungen stellt jemanden dar, der durch die Erfahrung bereits hindurchgegangen ist und suchte Zacharias, der verlorene Schaf. So when Christ was passing by, he saw him on the tree and recognized he was a lost sheep, so right? Als Christus vorbeiging, er sah ihn im Baum hängen und hat ihn erkannt als eine verlorene Schaf. Amen. Amen. These stories are astoundingly beautiful, so right? Diese Geschichten sind auf wunderbare Art und Weise erstaunlich. Okay, but go to Luke 23. So geht's jetzt in unseren Bibeln zu Lukas 23. Last couple of thoughts. Just a few thoughts. Lucas 23 and go to verse uh, 40. Okay, go to verse 40. Verse 39. So Lucas 23, verse 39. So the story of the thief on the cross. Right? This is the Geschichte vom Dieb am Kreuz. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Dost thou not fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man hath done nothing amiss. What's happening with this thief here? So, was geschieht mit diesem Dieb hier? Bis Vers 41. He's acknowledging that he's a sinner, right? So, uh, bekennt an, dass er ein Sünder ist. And he recognizes that Christ is the Savior, Und right? Er erkannt, hat erkannt, dass Christus der Erlöser ist. And, yes, yes, yes. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. So he's crying after him, right? Vers 42, er ruft ihm nach. And Jesus said unto him, Verle er sind thee, today thou shalt be with me where? Wo wird er sein? In Paradise. Paradiese. Okay. Now this man, where is he hanging? Uh, dieser Mann, wo hängt er? On the sycamore tree. Auf den Maulbeerbaum. Right? Amen. 
because he's a child of Satan and he needs saving. Weil right? er ein Kind Satans ist und benötigt Erlösung. Right? Amen. Okay. <laughs> These people that say we are heretics for saying that we are children of Satan, they just don't get it, right? Diese Leute, die sagen, dass wir Heretiker sind, weil wir sagen, dass wir Kinder Satans sind, sie begreifen es eben nicht. Not willfully. Also nicht absichtlich, nicht willentlich. Okay. We're not willfully children of Satan, but we realize we have a need to be saved, right? Wir sind nicht willentlich Kinder Satans, sondern wir begreifen, dass wir eine Bedarfnis haben, erlöst zu werden. Okay, last verse. Go to Revelation 2 and verse 7. Letzte Vers, Offenbarung 2 und Vers 7. So Jesus says, Today thou wilt be with me in paradise. Jesus right? sagt, heute wirst du mit mir im Paradiese sein. Vers 7. Uh, Offenbarung 2, Vers 7. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, I will give to eat of the tree of life. Where are you told to look up to? So, wo, sollst, wo ist dir gesagt, dass du hinaufschauen solltest? The tree of life. Zum Baum des Lebens. Which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Which is inmitten der Paradiese Gottes. Amen. Amen. He's promising him. Here, look up. And he gives him of the tree of life. So right? Jesus verheißt ihm, er sagt, schaut hinauf und er gibt ihm vom Baum des Lebens. Okay. Because if you just go to last sorry, last one, go to Revelation 22. And then it's offenbar uns 22 ist. Vers 14. Vers 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, for they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates of the city, which is the pearl of great price. Right? So, the pearl, the kostbare pearl, pearl, is the Tor zum Stadt. Right? Amen. Mm -hmm. The man hanging in the tree that realizes his need is the one that's going to find the pearl. So, derjenige, right? der im Baum hängt, der erkennt sein Bedürfnis an, das ist derjenige, der die Perle finden wird. And it's when Christ is passing by, right? Und an dem Punkt, wo Christus an ihm vorbeigeht. We have to know that time, right? Wir müssen diese Zeit kennen oder wissen. Amen. Verstehen. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let's, let's close. Okay. Dann lasst uns mit Gebet schlossen.